2023 Mercedes C300. Walking up to the C300, it does have a keyless access system. In order to lock, just tap the groove portion on the side of the door handle. The mirrors will fold in. And to unlock, just simply put your hand behind the door handle. And this particular C-Class is finished off in a white interior. And in order to start, just make sure you have the key within proximity of the vehicle, put your foot on the brake, and hit the dash menu button to go. And this C-Class is a brand new design for 2023. And part of that is that weird sunroof thing. And it does, it, you can press it like a normal button and it will work the same way that I'm doing so. But they designed it in a way where you can just slide your finger on it and sliding your fingers will do the same thing. It's a very bizarre design, but you get used to it quite easily. And the C300 does have a three-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel, as well as a nine-speed automatic transmission shifted through the column on the steering wheel. And it does have manual shiftability to the paddle shifters. And when placed in reverse, you can see that it does have a backup camera as well as a 360-degree camera system. And what's cool about this one is it does have the 3D model and the attention to detail is something I really like is if you're actually moving, the wheels will move. And if you have the turn signal on, you can see the turn signal in the actual animation itself. And now let's go ahead, turn on the headlights as well as the fog lights and the hazards. All four windows are fully automatic. And now let's go ahead and check out the exterior. And this particular C-Class is finished off in a white exterior. You can see that rear fog light there on the left hand side. And now let's check out the back seats. Leg room does look pretty small back there, but it's only because the passenger side seat is just scooted really far back. You can kind of get a more realistic approach of what the leg room looks like from the driver's side. And now let's step out and move on to the front seats. Personally, I am a huge fan of the wood trim on the dashboard. I think it's very beautiful and very fitting for the configuration that this car is with the white interior. Looks very nice.
Considering this car only has 3,000 miles on it, I'm glad to see that the window sticker is still there. It's crazy to me that this car retails for almost $50,000. This is Mercedes' newest version of their MBUX infotainment system, and it is very responsive. Um, I was kind of upset that there was no factory navigation, but it was cool to see all the new features that Mercedes has to offer for their 2023 C-Class. I didn't get the greatest video of it, but it has this thing called seat kinetics, and I think it's for if you're driving on like a long trip, it kind of moves the seat, it moves the uh, lumbar around and stuff, and kind of does things to waken you up a little bit. It's a cool feature, but it's something that I assume not a lot of people will use. But what is cool is it has automatic seat positioning, so you just put in your height, and it moves the seat and the steering wheel around to position you for the best possible position which was really cool and i did do that with my height um, not pictured in the video but and it worked it was quite accurate i was impressed Another new thing with the 2023 C-Class is the buttons for the seat adjusters. They don't actually move. Like on the older models, they would move. It's more of a sensor now. And when you put pressure on it, it moves. So you can see me pressing the buttons and it's not actually moving, but it's adjusting what you need to adjust, which is cool, but it definitely did take a second to get used to. And now let's step out and check out the rest of the C-Class. You can see part of that 360 camera there on the mirror, which is cool. You can get a quick glimpse of those five spoke 19 inch alloy wheels. Very sporty and they do make the car look a lot nicer. This car does have a very aggressive look. I do really like it. Um, you can see that camera there for your 360 system, as well as the parking sensors.
And now, finally, we'll step back in, we'll turn off the headlights, as well as the fog lights, and the hazards. And before we shut her down, let's go ahead and see how she sounds.